There you go. I think no, it does it automatically. Oh, cool. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm recording the three, three of us. Cool. Cool. I think. I think there's different views. Yeah, if you put it on gallery view, it should record the three okay. of us. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Gallery view. Yeah.
<laughs> that was cool. <laughs> How did it feel for you guys? I have so many thoughts, but I want to hear what you guys think first. <laughs> that was an experiment. That was fun. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> It was fun for me to watch. Great. How did it feel? Roy, were you still getting uh, glitchy throughout very it glitchy. or very, very glitchy? Like very glitchy? Oh, interpretive. <laughs> I you know, it's still, it's still like this, like I see you, but I, I can. I it's can like, see. it's glitching. It felt like, from me, from me watching it, it felt like you were watching him very intently. And then, like, Jerome, because you were, like, a little further from the screen and your hair was in your face. And also just this sense of your movement. You weren't facing the camera a lot. Like, it felt like you were in this very personal journey. And so in this one, Roy felt like the stalker. 
<laughs> and like it also felt very caring like it felt like you were caring for him right like that you were caring for Jerome I felt that like watching it was neat I felt that. and maybe it was just that like heightened need like figure out what he was doing <laughs> I'm I'm just happy you saw you saw it. I mean, I didn't, you know, I it was it it was uh, it was more uh, more of a guessing game. Do you think this was the glitchiest it's been? For me, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. There were some moments that I thought, like, I mean, I thought you guys were like that it was planned. That <laughs> it lined up pretty well. They were fun. But, um, but it definitely, from watching it, it felt like you were very, very concentrated on him. Like, and so that makes sense. It was cool. It was neat. How did you yeah, feel, Jerome? I was trying to get the contour. You were trying to get what? The contour? Yeah. What did you say? It's like, uh, was... it's like wa watching something something is burning and there's like uh, shades of smoke. Mm. It's interesting. I thought some of the sounds were really cool. And I, I don't know too how much like glitch I'm getting in the sound as well, but it was really neat. There's some weird stuff in there. Yeah. I loved it. I thought, yeah, thank you. Boy, it was amazing. Like, I felt you were just there for me wherever I was. Doesn't matter yeah. what I was doing. I was kind of like always feeling your support, which was amazing. Yeah, I thought it made, I thought it made me play more in a way. Interesting. Yeah, in a way, because you weren't making so many like statements, I guess, mm -hmm. right? Because there was it a felt like where, sorry. No, 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 go small, on. Small statements very yeah i mean of course like and you just dramatic gave me room i guess <laughs> would be the a way to say it it felt like it was a container like it felt like you were creating a container right to hold him that's for, from my perspective that's what it felt like which was really like touching and very sensitive and very like kind of in line with some of the things we've been talking about, which was interesting and, and kind of me. Um, and I felt like, Jerome, you were, you were being held by him. Like, I didn't feel like you were just like tuned out. Right. Um, so that, that movement across time and space for this worked for me in this regard, just watching it, observing it, listening to it. Um, it's very connected to what we, what we talked before the Zoom uh, conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting to think too. I feel like all these Zoom conversations, we, they record them. Because I know I have all the ones from um, back in the, in the winter. So you, you probably have our whole conversation. Oh, you'll get our conversation at the end, Daron. I think. I think they send the conversations. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just the recordings. I mean, I'm recording. I'm, I'm recording this too, so. Yeah, I think it's neat. This might be useful for something. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking that. I'm just like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I felt so many things, but at the same time, I just kind of allowed myself to, to do whatever that comes to, that goes through me, basically. Um, I enjoyed noticing things that have happened before, how they suddenly happen again without trying. I saw that too. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm here. yeah, it was neat. And I was mm -hmm. like, a lot. Yeah. A lot. And uh, that was nice. But that, that fits into this whole idea of memory and like what do we store and what gets lost and like this sort of embodied memory thing. Like that was fascinating to me too. I was like, wow, that, that just happened. <laughs> yeah, I, just I tried to not think about anything really. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I, did, I just tried to, yeah. I mean, I'm going to, Honzi is teaching me, uh, you know, Honzi is my roommate. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, uh, he's teaching me piano or like music in general, 
and the whole idea of like listen listening while you play or listening like as you play it's not only about doing it's also about listening mm-hmm. both at the same time so it's fun to experiment with that idea in dancing because in music it's kind of obvious you kind of you know you press the key and you also listen you have two actions one is your finger and one is your ears but in dance mm-hmm. It's like you're doing with your whole body and you're also listening with your whole body all the mm-hmm. time. Yeah. And, yeah. and that game has been really fun. And I feel like, again, like I didn't plan to do it, but it kind of came up when I was dancing now. And it was mm-hmm. fun because I was doing and then listening and then realizing, oh, I've done this before. And, you know, this kind of game, like that gives you the perspective. Because sometimes you do an improv and you have no idea what you did and then you kind of get flashbacks. But mm-hmm. yeah, here I have like a clearer, yeah. And it was fun to go wild in my room. It's like this tiny space and I'm like, I'm going to find every, every little nook yeah. and fit in. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a big space. It's not, it's not a, a big space. <laughs> but that's part of it too. I mean, that's <laughs> that review that we got, that you got in the, on the thing was like very How funny was that right <laughs> yeah it was great i mean i think it's really interesting and and i'm enjoying it yeah. I mean, it's not like i enjoy yeah. dancing in small spaces of course if i had a big space that would be great but yeah totally but enjoying the different yeah the different feel of it too because it feels it felt very feels very personal right. you know like you're so like, and like you're looking in taking in kind of yeah yeah and just the way that i mean i think something to think about too just from a cinematic lens is like the way that you guys were both framed because like the way you were framed drone is like this corner and you were back away from the camera more and then you were like working this corner which felt then very like this personal and you weren't looking at the camera a lot and then roy was very close to the camera and like peeking in from the side and so like you know like very intently watching you and so all the more like just just those like subtle like compositional things like also just create a narrative in and of themselves which i think is useful for us to think about as we develop um the camera language that we want to use for all of this because yeah it really shifts like what's happening and so it's really cool cool yeah. Congratulations on your recording, Roy. Um, oh, thanks. Yeah, I just, I, like, we had fun listening to that last night. That was great. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really relieved. Mm. Yeah. I just don't have that, like, thing, like, hanging, hanging over you. Over. Yeah. It's, uh, <clears throat> I mean, it was kind of, I knew this is gonna this is gonna be the first video I'm gonna put out I knew I'm gonna just gonna like meet Adam the the camera guy the filmmaker and it's gonna take like two hours and it's gonna be like much better but like the first draft was like I had like much uncertainty about like the way the way it was like laid out Mm-hmm. and it was like two seconds and shit fell in, in place and wow and now i'm just happy i i can move on to to actually listen to the recordings because i haven't yet yeah yeah that's a whole other whole other game i'm sure uh, all, all other beast yeah totally totally did anything else come up for you while you were struggling to like see him? I thought about like uh like um it's like subconscious cues mm. that that throws me into acceleration or to um the way we accelerate and deaccelerate. That was That's like cool. more of that was more of the the tools I I had because I saw like I said I saw more of a contour than like a figure. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so there was that. I, I mean, I tried um, going between more dry and more symboly wet mm-hmm. and to see the effect. And I mean, when it was drier, it was much more clear. For me. Interesting. Interesting. Um, but that's just like, I guess, I mean, generally it's like that. Yeah. When it's, more, when it's drier, you must be more condensed in a way and create more of a, more of ground, like more of a sequence of okay. actions. Interesting. And when it's wet, it's like a sea. Yeah, when it's wet, it's like you can go anywhere. (laughs) All over. It's like a a general thought. Soggy. (laughs) Can you do air? What's the airy sound? Mm. I'm so excited. (laughs) Airy sound Uh, would be more... More like the brushes. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But that's harder to actually maintain, like to create like a steady ground. I mean, naturally, it's air, yeah. but how much we? You get a looper. That's that's a nice idea. Um, it's funny. So we and how about fire? Let's say dry is earth. Fire, right? Dry is earth. Water is water. You said wet. Air. Fire. Yeah, fire. Fire will be more more like. Um, I don't know how much you heard. <laughs> it's very passion. <laughs> yeah, it's passion. More like, like stirring the pot. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> but there's there are like there are many forms of it, obviously. Of course. It's just one. One clear one for me, at least. Right. I mean, it will be the same <laughs> like for me. Like, you can it. say water, I'm gonna, you know, but there's many ways to do it, many ways to think about it. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be so much fun, like, um, you know, it could be so much fun to, to, like, you know, if you had a certain, like, element in your mind attached to yeah i want to uh, one of the terms or or you know and then you're trying to interpret that is that what you're saying ray yeah yeah that's cool yeah like if we can yeah if we know that about each other how we react to those elements or what we like if we keep talking about it we're going to start feeling it Oh, even, 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 can you hear me? Even just, even if if you just you know want to imagine something, or <clears throat> if you want to hear how I would imagine something. Yeah, like keep trying talking about. You can it. say like, you can say free fall wet or free fall dry or free fall fire or or free fall nice. wind. That could be cool. That's cool. I like to, because this is sort of taking us full circle back to where we started, but just with like more personal <laughs> conjurings, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. interesting. That language yeah. thing. I mean, the yeah. more personal, the better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. 
Definitely. What What were you thinking? Um, might be the. I mean, do you want Do you want to try? I don't know if I want to try again. It's this is like super super uh, super challenging, but like I'm I'm definitely down to if you want to do something more specific. Okay. I think I got it out of my system. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, I would love to try more specific stuff, but I feel like it would be amazing when we're in the same room. And then yeah. when we yeah. go back to this, can you imagine what kind of like step forward this will be after yeah. spending those two weeks together? I mean, the nice thing too is we can also always just take you guys out of the same place if we want to try this even there. Do you know what I mean? All right. Like, you want to try this if, way of doing it. I mean, I, I, I kind of want to try that even, you know, it's like, what if like Jerome's doing fire in the middle of like the seaport and Roy's back in the, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, just isn't like, like after we've done some time in the studio together, but it'd just be interesting to, to see how that works too. I got I got some exciting news today. What's your exciting news? I have a gig in Cyprus just before just before July, like by nice. the end. Of the month. Great. Cool. Yeah, with with uh, with this guy Doron, you might know him, Albert Berger. I might. Yes. Yeah, he played with a very good friend of ours. I just, I, mean, saw him, I just saw him perform in Israel now, like in March. No way. Yeah, he's amazing. That's funny. I mean, Milton is also amazing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Albert is like cool. phenomenal. He's That's like cool. 60, he's like 60 years old. Yeah, he's a master. Already. Damn, nice. Guy. And, and he's like talking to you like, he. Oh yeah, I mean, my brother, come here! Like he's like super. We have a great like we have a great uh, great connection, and uh, I I went over to his place like a couple of times. He lives by the beach, and we we played just the two of us, and we were talking, and he started talking about San Francisco and New York and going to record, and I was like, okay, Albert. Chill the fuck down. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> start easy. Let's just play, man. <laughs> let's, let's play. And then he called me this morning and and told me like, man, you wanted a gig before you go. Let's go to Cyprus. I have this friend and he's paying for the flight. That's amazing. Yeah. So cool. I so happy for you. The flight ticket off my head also. So it's like. Uh, Wait, so are you are you gonna go to Cyprus and then come straight to Thessaloniki? Yeah. Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. That's great. Wow. I might I might get there earlier than I thought, actually. Do you, like do you know what day? The thirtieth. Okay. I leave Cyprus on the thirtieth. I can leave later, but I'm not it's sure I'll have you. Yeah, it's up to you. Hold on, let me just put that in the calendar. I mean, or, yeah. or just let me know, I guess. I mean, that would just be getting you in a day earlier, right? Or were you you were going to come in on the second because yeah. of the wedding? Yeah, like two days, two days ahead. Yeah, that's fine. I, I'll just change it on the calendar. I don't think that'll be a big deal. I'll be there. So. All right. When are you? When are you landing? I get in on the twenty seventh. Dope. Mhm. Mm and uh, me and Honzi, uh, the one's roommate, we were talking, and I might go to Georgia. Dude, if August. you, that's, I wanted to, are you gonna go to Tbilisi? Yeah. Are you gonna play or are you just gonna go? I'm gonna go and play. There, I mean, <laughs> to meet <laughs> What? What dates? Because I want to go to Tbilisi. This has been a thing. Tell me the dates. No, no, you're no, you're you're coming with me. I want to come oh, with you guys. I'm gonna be there. Jerome, can you come? No. Oh. 
It's like August 19th, basically. August 19th is what you're thinking? Yeah. And are you going to fly? I probably I mean, I would love to I would love to rent a car and do it by land, but I think I would uh, recommend it. Yeah, definitely not. not Why? A good idea. It's Turkey. It's not like the, the, what? You okay. Don't okay. 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 So, so we're gonna go to Tbilisi on the nineteenth from Thessaloniki. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Cool. I definitely come because <laughs> I also have to leave the European Union for a few days. So this is great. <laughs> oh, you? Huh? Unless, unless I end up going to Beirut that week, there's a small chance that I might mm. go for work. But um, otherwise, yeah. I'd come for Beirut. sure. God damn. Yeah, because I work, I do some work for the Lebanese Diaspora Center, so they might send me there. And I think that's the week that they would send me, um, like the seventeenth okay. to the twenty fourth. Yes. But if I if I don't go, which there's a, it's like I'm not sure if they're gonna do it or not. Then I'll definitely come to Georgia. That would be great. So wait, how long are you going for? Um, I'm not really sure yet. But probably a week at least. Okay, I don't know that I'll go for that long, but I'm going to come with you <laughs> for a little bit of it at least. I yeah. really want to go to. I really want to go to Georgia, so this is cool. Jerome, how can you come with us? <laughs> well, if I get my visa in like a day, <laughs> and I get tired of Israel in two days, then I can come with you. Wait, you have to get a visa? Yeah, um, I just I reapplied in uh, April. Because uh, my visa, I need to renew it every three years. And this is the first mm -hmm. time I'm renewing it. Uh, so, I got it. so, yeah, it takes a few months. That's why, but I'm only coming back to New York in September. So, and I have to stamp the passport in my home country. Or at least the country I see. You know, where the passport is from. So, got it. Okay. Barely passports. I have to go to Israel and I have to wait like at least i don't want to say a, let's say a week last time they said it would take 48 hours and it took two weeks so i gave myself yeah two weeks but let's hope it'll be fast so what you're so what you're saying is that if you got it then you could come but you're not if sure i got it in like it. A, in, really in 48 hours <laughs> then i could come <laughs> For a weekend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's keep it in the air because I, I can't go for probably. I probably can't go for a whole week, but I could go for like five days at least. Great. Be fun. I mean, that would be amazing. Of course, I would want to do that. Yeah. Uh, and don't tell the Honzi. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We just. That's I, amazing. Here. Um, Roy, one of the musicians that's coming uh, from New Orleans was in Tbilisi last year studying like the type of singing, like the polyphonic singing or whatever. He plays the violin, but he was doing the singing too. So he can tell you some stuff about it too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of people. Yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to ask you actually, like if... There are two people that are already kind of like scamming on coming to visit. Uh huh. Like uh huh. My sister and uh, good yeah. friend Agona. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Agona. Yeah, Agona. Agona is like four yes. hours drive. She's in Kosovo. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Agona, be so fun. So I was, I was just wondering if like. If uh, if uh, they could crash with me or like my guess is my guess is probably I think I know they built like new housing for the artists and residents and I think the rooms are a decent size um, I think I'll find out when I get there which won't be that much before you get there um, but even if like I mean, I know there's yeah, no more. Worst case, Airbnb, right? Worst case, Airbnb or. No, worst. No, 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 no. Worst case, like they paid like 
a five euro and sleep in the hostel that's there. Like there's a hostel connected to the space too. Oh snap. So they could get a bed for like five euro or something. No way. Yeah. But I mean, which actually may be easier. This place. It's like, it's becoming more and more like my, so, okay, um, it's, not, let's, let's, it's not an official hostel, but they have a space for like, cause they, they're not like registered quote unquote as a hostel. They're uh -huh. like, but they have like, I think it's their on work away. So they have a space where people can come. Yeah. For like, I think it's like 10.